previously on Dragon Quest Builders. I don't really know if you can call this a town, but it will be soon because today is the day that we are going to break into the monster's castle and take back the Banner of Hope and finally start having a actual village here. I'm going to watch out for these skeletons because they are tough. The skeletons are pretty strong. All right, skeletons, it's time for a rematch. Ah, they're so strong. One more. Yes, we're actually doing it. We're come on, come through the door. Are you really? They really can't come through doors, can they? God's sake, I have to go in and get him. Got my banner of hope. Let's do this. Press square. And we have our banner of hope at last. Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. I have just built a cook fire place, a crude kitchen, sorry. I've just built one of these in the hopes that my villagers will actually start making me some food items, but I've no idea if they will. I, I can make like a couple of little bits, mostly from the mushrooms that I found out in the wilderness near the castle where the monsters stole the banner. There's a load of mushrooms out there, so I've made one of those in the hopes that they will make me some food items at some point. Obviously the, the base needs a lot of work. There's giant holes in the wall and stuff and monsters are coming in very easily but I literally just finished recording the last video and went straight on to the next one so I haven't had any time to build up the base but hopefully on the next one after this one there will definitely be some improvements I will definitely at least do the walling around the side that will be my first task is to actually make sure that we have some walling around the castle to protect us that will be the first thing I do anyway here are the things that we can make in case you're wondering we can make magic doors steel doors, brick walls, castle foundation and castle walls, castle tiles. I really think they've set this chapter up for you to actually make a castle since this is actually Tantagel Castle so I probably should make another castle for this chapter so that should be interesting. There's also thrones and like decorative shields and some really cool stuff there and then we have in the actual workstation we have wrecking balls we do actually get like rock bombs just rolling into the base trying to attack us as well which is interesting candlesticks candelabrums so we've got loads of candlesticks loads of fancy stuff that we can make stone coping there's like little decorations that go on the roof and stuff like that and we can now make fancy carpet, red carpet, so we can make as much as that as we like now. And I couldn't make stuff like this before. I had a limited supply of it. And now I can make like a never ending supply of castle tiles and castle walls and stuff like that. I can make single bed, king size beds, barrels, pots, tables, dining rooms, chick chairs, columns, banners, and loads of stuff. So yeah, really, really cool. There is a couple of like workstations and stuff that I haven't made yet as well. Like we haven't made the brick barbecue and I have put a couple more beds in here because there was only one bed and the princess was nicking it <laughs> the whole time so I had nowhere to sleep. And I also need to clear out this area since we've got like loads of stone and random bits of grass everywhere and stuff. But anyway, let's get on with the story. That's what I really want to do today is accept these quests and see what awaits us in the story. So this is Launce, one of the guards. Tell me, Multi, hast thou heard the prophecy? Nope, I don't think so. It tells of the sword one must wield and the armour one must wear when facing the dragon. The Sword of Kings, I don't know about the armour. They are known as the Sword of Kings and the Auroral Armour. Ah, okay. Alas, they have been lost to this world. The both of them. The Sword of Kings was in chapter 3 somewhere, apparently. <laughs> but if anyone can bring these treasures back to life, it is thou, the blessed builder. And when thy work is done, wilt thou not need a suitable place to store thy prizes? It would not do to simply leave them lying about for any passing monster to run away with. There was once such a chamber in this very castle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do believe it was just over there. A stoutly guarded treasury filled with brimming treasure chests. Sounds good. Sounds good. But if thou preferest another location, I bow to thy building wisdom. <laughs> All they ask is thou placest within its walls a colossal coffer, one chest and three treasure chests. 
All right, oh, and a pair of bold banners to make the place fit for a king. Sounds like a plan. I have actually built a colossal coffer already and a chest. All I would need to do is move it into the room and put walls around it. <laughs> but let's accept this one from Merland. Multi, a heavy duty resteth on thy young shoulders. Thou must need see to Tantigel's revival. And as thine appointed seer, tis my duty to guide thee in thy quest. Before its fall, this castle had a chamber wherein soothsayers such as I could prognosticate in peace. Twas known as the Diviner's Den, and I would have thee rebuild it. Okay, it is not solely for mine own benefit, I assure thee. Had I access to such a chamber, I could see more clearly into thy future and divine the path thou must needs take to achieve thine aims. Okay, interesting. Over yonder would be the perfect site for it. Tis where the room was situated in Tantigale Castle of old. Right. Go on, Multi, follow this blueprint I have prepared for thee and let the Diviner's Den live again. Multi obtained blueprints, but I don't want to make this old Tantigale castle exactly how it was before. I want to make my own Tantigale castle. I want it to be a multi Tantigale castle. <laughs> my dear Multi, I am ever so keen to begin the reconstruction of Tantigale, but as thou seest, the castle lies in ruins. Verily, I know not where to start. Me either. Thou art well experienced in the art of building, art thou not? Doth any plan suggest itself to thee? Well, let me think about that. Beg your pardon? A throne room on the dais, thou sayest? That would be a good place, actually. I like that. It's a nice little place for a throne room. Verily, the chamber where my father and I once held court was in that very same place. But in these straightened circumstances I could not possibly ask thee to build a room for me and me alone but you're a princess Twould not be for me alone to rebuild the throne room would serve as a symbol of Tantigale's revival I see well if restoring the throne room would lend courage to my people's hearts then I will gladly oblige thee thou art a kind soul multi I thank thee for thy consideration here, take this plan of the old throne room. May it aid thee in restoring this castle to its former glory. Okay, cool. I feel like these villagers don't know their priorities. So, to start off, they want to build, like, a place where he can see into the future. A throne room and a treasury. Like, the only good thing out of that, the only, like, beneficial thing out of that I can even think of is the treasury. The rest just sound like a waste of time. But we will do it anyway and see what happens. Um, for now, I'm just going to shove these rooms just anywhere. And of course, like always, I always change and chop and change and everything when I get to actual building properly. So, yeah, the stuff will not stay in this location. It's just for now. So, just whack that right there. I love the castle walls, by the way. I'm really excited to actually use those. I think that would be really nice. Okay, chests, chests, chests. We got some chests there. I wonder where. I think I have some normal chests somewhere. There's one over here, or there's actual. There's one in the bedroom as well, which we don't really need. We don't really need a chest in there, so we could take that as well. So let's put one of these normal chests in here, and we're gonna need some walls. I'm just gonna literally just put down anything I have at the moment. So well, can we make anything? I wonder. I don't think we can make like any blocks at the moment. So that's a bit annoying. No. Nope, we can make like nothing. So I wonder how you can make like brick and castle. We need iron ingots for that. Oh, it's frustrating. We'll just take the blocks from here for now. I can't be bothered to build anything right now. I'm being lazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be building on this tonight anyway and like getting some resources and stuff. So if we just fill in the gaps like so and I'm probably gonna take down this walling anyway or do something with this walling because it's like all messy and horrid so yes give me some of this walling there we go I got a little bit hopefully I'll be able to do something we need a door there as well so fill in the gaps there we go there we go and I'll fill in this little gap here with a door so I think I actually have some doors actually 
let me see I think I've got some doors yes I have some magic doors let's put these magic doors here this is probably just going to be a bit of building in today's episode doesn't look like we're going to do much exploring unfortunately I would love to go and just do some exploring today but well I want to build some of these rooms so I can actually like get on with doing some things and we can get some I don't know some little buffs to help us out and stuff and then hopefully we'll do some exploring next time so there's our little treasure room isn't that what he wanted is that is, did he want more what did you want let's talk to him again oh yes he wanted some he wanted a colossal coffer a chest got that two bold banners three treasure chests so three treasure chests three treasure chests I've got five, so we've got more than enough treasure chests. So there we go. Three chests and there was a bold banner. I think he wanted two bold banners. I'm not sure how you build those. How do you build bold banners? I think you need silk. I'm not sure if I have... Does he need just normal bold banners or the big ones? I think it's just bold banners. I can make five. We only found like one bit of silk back in the... When we were taking the monster's castle and that actually allowed us to make five bold banners. So we should be able to build this easy peasy without even going to get anything. So that's cool. Do we put it inside? It's a bit random. But okay, here we go. One, two... Was that it? I think that was it. So residents will build furniture and items. Oh, so that's what the treasury is for. That's cool. So now hopefully they will start building me some stuff. So this is definitely like one of the best moves to do is to get villagers making stuff as soon as possible. That's always the best thing to start with. So there we go. Put that away, put that away. We've still got two blueprints to make. So let's see what he says about our newly made treasury. Buy my trough. The treasury of Tantigale Castle is reborn. Verily, thou art the carpenter of legend. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about being called a carpenter. <laughs> what? Thou art not the carpenter, but the builder? Yeah, you tell him, you tell him. Is that so? A thousand pardons, my good lady. Verily, thou art the builder, carpenter of legend. Ha 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 ha. I feel like he's taking the mickey out of us. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> The rebuilding of the castle proceedeth apace, but how long will it be before we men of Alfgard must needs face the dragon lords in battle? The legends tell how scion after scion of the legendary hero did appear in Alfgard, challenging the dragon lord to a decisive duel either after other. And each and every time they were slain, all excepting the last who did accept the dragon lord's offer to rule beside him. So everybody died. It is by that hero's default that we find ourselves in this world of darkness. But let us not dwell on our fates. If the legends hold true, yet another scion of the fabled hero will one day appear to us. One who will lay the dragon lord low once and for all. So we're going to get a random hero appear and he's going to destroy the dragon lord for us. I don't think so. I think maybe if a hero does appear, I don't think he's going to succeed. It has to be us. It has to be us to slay him. I only hope that this hero appeareth sooner rather than later. Hmm? Why frownest thou, Multi? Dost thou not agree? I don't agree. I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. <laughs> Do we get another quest? Nope, that's it. That's all he wanted for now. So now we have to build some other rooms we've got lots of rooms to build we have a merlin's blueprint or throne room i kind of think that maybe merlin's blueprint should be done first i don't think a throne room is very necessary but whatever the villagers might like make something in the throne room who knows who knows what purpose it shall serve we will find out so here oh we actually need castle walls to make this damn okay what about this throne room this is supposed to go up here as well i wonder if it's a perfect fit it is as well look at that perfect fit that is awesome definitely supposed to go up here we need castle walls lots of stuff we need to collect a lot of stuff and i have barely collected anything right now no it's gonna take me a while to collect all this stuff all right let me just clear this area of plants and stuff because there are plants everywhere we don't want that all right cool i'm really excited to make this throne room actually it looks really cool and it's a perfect fit right there oh let's go to sleep because it's now night time 
All right, let's get started. What can I possibly do? Let me see. Oh, I can make some more healing creams, so that's good. Always like some more healing creams, some more medicinal herbs. That's from all the little plants around here. There's so many plants and stuff around here, which is cool. So let's click on here and see what do we need to build these. We need a lots of iron, so I need to go and like find some iron and stuff. And we need lots of silk as well i'm not sure what silk drops from it, it dropped from the mage in the tower so i'm not entirely sure if we're just gonna find random mages about i wonder if it drops from anything else around here because the skeletons clearly drop cloth interesting right let's try and use a holy water on this little cliff see if we can find a bit of iron or something iron's like really annoying to find as well so there's a bit of coal on this cliff but I don't see any iron. Iron, where are you? Nah, this is just a coal cliff. A coal cliff. There's a cave here. Let's go and look in this cave. That could be a good thing to do. Oh, let's do this little cliff here. See if there's anything on this little cliff. Nope, just more coal. Iron's like kind of annoying to find. You really have to, I don't know, keep looking around to see if we can find some. It's not always in the most obvious place. So no, this is definitely just a cliff of coal again. <laughs> so let's go into here. Oh, and there might be something in here. I think you don't have to, I don't think you have to use the holy water in the caves. The caves are all okay. I don't think the dragon lord cursed the caves. <laughs> so that's one good thing. It does look really dull in here though. I'll try it. I'll try it. Let's try it. Now it doesn't do anything if you use the uh, holy water in the caves. So let's go down the other side, maybe there'll be something. No, there's like nothing in this cave, this sucks. <laughs> okay, I have to keep looking around, see if we can find some iron. I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time collecting resources, because this is gonna take me forever to find stuff, because I don't know where anything is. What about this? This is a nice little cliff. Nice and little red blocks here. They could be nice decoration blocks, actually. Um, nope, can't see anything on here. Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh wait. Oh wait. I'm blind. There's some right above my head. This is all iron. All up here is all iron. So that's nice. I found a nice little vein of iron. Let's take all this and it's on one of these weird little floaty balls as well. Ah, there's some here. So yeah. You just have to keep looking and you will eventually find some so that's cool i got some iron and we should be able to make a bit of castle block now so let's go back and see if we can make a little bit and get started on the next blueprint hopefully we can finish at least one more that would be nice 45 iron ingots that's quite a lot so here we go we can now make castle walls and foundations or what do we need we need 18 castle walls and 20 foundations so how many can we make we can make 99 but i don't know i don't think we want to make that many so let's just see how much one makes one makes 10 so if we make if we do two lots of each yes and then we should be able to actually make the room with just that look at that skeleton trying to get in my base oi skeleton this is not your little place to come into. Go away. Go away. Shoot. <laughs> I one shot him. That was cool. Okay, so we now have some castle walls and some castle foundations. So obviously foundations go first. So foundations on the bottom. Here we go. Round and round. The blueprints were a really good idea. I really like the blueprint idea as well. I always thought it was a really cool idea to have something like this. I love how this is done. So let's put these down. Here we go. All the way round. And we need... What door do we need? We need a wooden door. Right. And we need some... Why have we got two random blocks inside? That just makes the room smaller. But okay. I guess it's for like fashion or like, you know, style or something. I don't know. I really love these castle blocks. They are really nice. This is the first time we've ever really used these blocks as well, I think. So here we go. Go round. All the way round. See what we get for making this room. So this is where this thing goes. This thing goes in here. And we need a chest, two candlesticks and a wooden door. We don't have a wooden door, I don't think. No, we don't. So I need a wooden door. Where do I make wooden doors? A workshop, I think? Yes. So wooden door I can make straight away. Candlesticks I can't make. How do you make candlesticks? Sludge stone? How do you make sludge stone? I've never seen that anywhere before. So there's that. 
all we need is the chest we need a chest and this one's empty so I can take that one and just plonk it in there I've no idea how you get sludge stone though so put that there that's the only thing we're missing is the candlesticks hmm no clue <laughs> no clue how to make sludge stone damn it I can't finish this it's probably like dropped from an enemy or something anyway let me know in the comments how you get sludge stone because I don't know I don't know at the moment because I haven't done any exploring yet so I have no clue <laughs> and we also need to make this we need castle walls castle foundations which I have need a lot of stuff to build all this more of these candle briums so we won't even be able to finish this blueprint either since I don't have sludge stone and I'm not sure where to get it we need columns as well I think we have columns I'm not sure if we have columns I'm not sure anyway guys I'm going to stop here for today clearly I need to go around and do some resource gathering and exploring and seeing what like materials are out there so I can finish these blueprints off and I don't like this random block sticking out so go away <laughs> okay well thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed please comment rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time